Leaders Foundation, myself Gulamola. How are you? I hope you are very well. Today, we shall be discussing the famous novel, Beloved, by Tony Morrison. Okay, at the very uh, beginning of the lecture, I would like to inform you that uh, for our convenience, we divided our lecture into two parts while we uh, discuss a novel. At the very first part, we uh, discuss uh, the setting, uh, the characters, the themes, and of course the background of the novel. And in the second part, we uh, discuss the critical summary of the novel. Okay, now in the first part, uh, I would like to discuss uh, the themes, characters, setting, and background of the novel. So first of all, uh, we uh, look at uh, the biography of uh, Tony Morrison. Tony Morrison's life duration uh, from 1931 to present. Actually, why I am uh, uh, informing you as present? Because I am delivering this lecture uh, on 29th December 2018. So, until uh, 2018, Tony Morrison is still alive. Okay, professionally, he is a novelist, short story writer, professor, and editor. If you want to get a well conception regarding the novel, you have to look back at the historic background of the novel. So, uh, the historic background of this novel is that before a civil war, American civil war, uh, the slavery was legal in the 15 states of. United States of America. So first of all, you need to know, we need to know where, what was the duration of the American Civil War. The duration of the American Civil War was from 1861 to 1865. So the before Civil War, the slavery was legal in the 15 states of United States of America such as Alabama, Virginia, Kentucky, etc. Okay, from a true historic incident, the plot of the novel being taken by Tony Morrison. Actually, in January 1856, an African-American uh, slave named Margaret Garner escaped from the plantation with whole family. Okay, in from Kentucky to Ohio, that was the historic background. Okay, and in uh, 1856, uh, Margaret Garner uh, was uh, taken uh, to court for trial, right? Trial. But in 1856, uh, Margaret Garner was taken to court by the uh, by the power of Fugitive Slap Act or Fugitive Slab Law. So what do you mean by Fugitive Slab Act or Fugitive Slab Law? Fugitive Slab Act or Fugitive Slab Law was passed in 1815 by the United States Congress for the purpose of compromising between the slaves and the slave owners. Okay, slaves and, slaves and the slaves owner. That is a uh, Fugitive Slab Act or Fugitive Slab Law. Okay, uh, now uh, this is the historic background of the novel. So, from this true incident, Tony Morrison uh, has taken the plot of the novel. Because, you know, uh, what was the purpose of Tony Morrison? Because the novel was published in 1987. 1987, the novel was published. But the purpose of Tony Morrison was. Uh, to remember nation that slavery was so heterogeneous and she would like to inform the nation that history is not read by all local people but literature is read, is read by all educated people and for this Tony Morrison has given a better shape of the bitter slavery system in, his, in her literary work. Okay, now uh, we uh, talk about uh, the uh, setting of the novel. Uh, in the novel, we get three settings. First of all, uh, Blue Stone Road 124, House 124. Blue Stone Road, House 124, Ohio, Cincinnati, or Cincinnati, Ohio. 
That means that in Ohio, Cincinnati, there is there was a house on Bluestone Road 124. This is the first setting. The second setting, uh, Sweet Home in Kentucky. Okay, the name of the plantation is Sweet Home in Kentucky. And the third of setting is the flint runners of the central character. Why I say the film, the film ran us because our central character city had to pass the forest, frozen river, and the concrete road to reach Ohio from Kentucky. Okay, and uh, for your kind information, I would like to inform you that the distance between Kentucky and Ohio is 249 miles. That means 374 kilometers so city had to pass this long distance on her foot okay now uh, we talk about the characters here in this novel we get a lot of characters a number of characters but how uh, we can remember it for this I have divided the characters into several parts. First of all, the major characters. There are five major characters in the 